Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes, but loves front-end development. And today I'm very excited to share with you the first two demos from the upcoming GreenSock workshop. The first demo is an online interactive portfolio where we'll set up a few simple twins, we'll add them to a timeline and then create multiple timelines for individual projects and play them on a master timeline. Okay, so it might sound complicated, but we'll walk through the steps from start to finish. So you should be able at the end of it, create project like this on your own. Okay, it's not necessary everything you need to know about GreenSock, but it's, it's a workshop and step-by-step -step tutorials how to create simple project like this. The second demo will be this GreenSock full screen slideshow with a cool parallax effect. So I'll show you how to structure the HTML CSS to move the background or the diff containing a background. So we're not animating background image position, but we modifying the position of a diff containing the image. And we'll go through how to set it up and how to include the navigation to slide to the right place. So as you can see, it doesn't go through the slide two and three when you go from the last one to the first one. So it just brings the, 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 the right one into the view straight away, including this parallax effect. Then it will be your exercise time when you'll be able to just take the code as it is and modify it to create this horizontal one. So similar effect, but everything turns into horizontal and I'll leave that up to you. So that will be your exercise time. And then I'll reveal how I did this horizontal option and you can compare the code and learn from it as well. And the third modification, which we might do together is this sliding gallery where the project, the current project zooms out, then new comes in and title and description comes into the view as well. Okay, so at the end of this demo or this module, you should be able to create a simple gallery with any of these styles on your own. Pretty cool, huh? These were the two demos that will be definitely included in the GreenSock workshop. But if there are any examples of interactive websites that you would want to learn how they were created, or effects, specific effects, then leave a comment under the video or on the blog post where I'm introducing the scroller workshop. Okay, so as I said, the first two are definitely in. If there is anything else you would want to include or you're curious about, then definitely let me know or complete the survey. The link is also under the video. So if you complete this survey and leave your most common questions regarding GreenSock and JavaScript animations in general, that will make it, that can make it to the workshop as well. Okay, so I've tried to answer a lot of people's questions. So if you send me yours, that workshop can answer yours as well. So there you have it, the first two demos that are included in the GreenSock workshop and a simple preview of what's coming up. The Merry SVG, the Merry, the SVG Christmas card is not included just so I don't want to get people confused. But if there is a specific part of that card that you would want to learn, then definitely let me know. But to break the whole thing down, that would be a lot of hours of actually content. So I'm trying to maybe extract part of this animation into the workshop. So let me know which one you would want to include. Maybe the snow falling, maybe building up the tree or the interactivity of the presence and the mouse. Yeah, just let me know which part of this you would want to include or just send me links to another websites. I'm curious to see what you want to learn and I see how I can include it. And that's it all for today. If you have any other questions regarding the GreenSock workshop, hit me up on Twitter or in the comments under the video. And until next time, happy twinning, stay tuned, bye.